Well, howdy. <clears throat> Big boy fella at ya. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Mm. Wow. It's Sunday. Probably about 8 p.m. Here in Florence, South Carolina. I just left the center with my Upa. I figured I'd stop by Golden Corral and get me a bite to eat. And I must confess, mm, better than I thought it was. Better than I thought it would be. <sighs> what I got was some uh, mashed potatoes. Man, them things were good. Mashed potato. This is bread pudding. It's very rare that I eat that I eat bread pudding. I, I figured since I'm spending all my money. Damn. Might as well get my money worth, right? Mm. It's pretty humid in here. Anyway, the winds, the weather today was like somewhat cloudy. Probably got up to about 70 with a little bit of wind factor. 70, feel like 68 degrees. Mm. I tell you, man, I used to make the Golden Corral. about two, three times a year. Because when I come here, man, I really get full. I had some uh, mashed potatoes, dinner rolls, stew beef, a, a piece of steak barbecue, um, meatloaf. And a salad. Mm. Now I'm eating dessert. Drinking water. Most likely, <coughs> most likely tap water. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's tap water, but it is what it is, right? Mm. Top that off with some. Uh, rice pudding and carrot cake carrot cake mm. I'm having a hard time getting it down I'm not a big fan of cakes Actually, I don't eat, eat desserts that much. I don't, I don't particularly care for desserts. But. Mm. It tastes pretty good, to be honest with you. Mm. Man. Mm -mm. 
I was at the sound without Opa looking at football. I got the chance to see the Dallas Cowboys, the Dallas Cowboys, get humili humiliated again. <laughs> I believe they down like three in a row, three losses in a row. I'm waiting on, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. So, I'm waiting on the Dallas Cowboys to fire. Damn, what they coach name? I can't think of that. Damn, I can't think of the guy name. Dallas Cowboy coach used to coach the Green Bay Packers. What that son of a gun name? Mike? Hell, I don't know. It'll come to me sooner or later. I know Jerry Jones ain't gonna let that stuff go on all season. They made one of the worst calls I've seen all year. <laughs> I mean, it was crazy, man. It was a fake punt. The guy was supposed to be faking the punt, right? The punt the ball away. But he faked the punt and threw the pass and it got intercepted. Some shit like that. <laughs> no, it didn't, I, no, it didn't get intercepted. But anyway, it was incomplete. And by that being the case, They turned the ball over at midfield early in the third quarter. That's just ridiculous. That was a terrible play. Okay, the Dallas Cowboy coach name is Mike McCarthy. I'm sorry. Mike McCarthy. I'm waiting on Jerry Jones to fire Mike McCarthy because he deserved it. <laughs> Especially after that day go play. That had been one of the worst plays I've seen all year in professional football. Anyway, this is week eight, eight in the NFL, which means I've been here eight weeks now. So I'm wrapping it up. I got to get out of here. Cup final. Life goes on. <laughs> and that little bit of life I got left. I got to live it, baby. Woo! I'm getting ready to go home and look at the Green Bay Packers. No, not the Green Bay Packers. We're playing tonight. Minnesota. Damn, who they playing? Tampa Bay? Who Minnesota playing? Shit, if I know that. Minnesota Packers. Oh, shit. I got to tip my waitress on. It would be inappropriate if I walk out of here and didn't tip my waitress. <laughs> man. Yeah, man. Winter is setting in. I can, you can feel it. Winter's. I Kevin, I Kevin Sammy used to say that thing. Winter is coming. <laughs> I said, I said so. Anyway, I've got time change, so I'm I'm an hour behind on everything. It's essential. But I'm I'm going home. Look at a little football. I probably won't see the whole game unless it's a good game. If it's a good game, I hang around. I enjoy going to bed at ten o'clock. Shit. 9.30, 10 o'clock. <laughs> That's my aim, to go to bed about 9.30, 10. Wake up in the morning at about 8 o'clock. Let me see who's playing tonight. Here's my little iPhone. Oh, you know, I left 
the other night I was at the center. It was like Thursday night, I believe it was. I was at the center, our Upar Center. And uh, uh, first time voting. Somebody, 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 first time voting. But y'all go out there to vote in a couple of days. Y'all make sure y'all vote for the right person. And y'all know who that is. <laughs> Let me give y'all a little hint. Last ignition. T. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let me say that. <clears throat> let me see who playing tonight. You know. Who Minnesota playing? Sunday night football. Sunday night football. Sunday night football. God damn, who playing? God damn. Oh, who playing? Hold on. Now I get off. I know that one's going to work. Wait a minute. Hold on. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Oh. Minnesota and Indianapolis. That'll be one worth waiting up to see. Indianapolis ain't been no good since. Andrew Lutz quit. <laughs> It did, uh, every now and then a uh, professional football player quit. Andrew Luck was the biggest, the biggest name. Oh shit, we my <clears throat> the biggest NFL player to ever quit this league as far as I know. This guy was like a quarterback. Indianapolis Colts. <clears throat> This guy was the next dang on Dan Marino. I mean, the guy was that good. He came in with R, R, RG3. They came in the, the same year. And uh, I'm telling you, man. He would have had a great career, but he said, man, I can't play this game. And the reason he said that because he had a couple injuries and he, he just couldn't get rid of the pain. Even though he was clear to contend to play, but he said, nah, I got to play. And he walked away from the game. Shout out to, heads up to the brother, because uh, most guys would never did that. They'd have hung around. They'd be, you know, you got these NFL players, they'd be all broke dick. They can hardly walk, but man, they try to squeeze it for every dime they can get out of it. And see, Andrew Luck could have hung around and met another Andrew Luck, he could have hung around as a professional football player and made another hundred and fifty million dollars. If he'd have been playing right now, he would have had a a, a four or five hundred million dollar contract, most likely, because he was that good. But anyway, let me get out of here. Y'all be good now. Yeah, here. Tell everybody, y'all know, I know, I said hello, and we'll see you down the road. We'll talk to you later. Adios.